Well, hello again. I found this um, picture of a sugar skull. It's design and I thought it looked quite nice and I thought I'd like to try and uh, hammer it into copper and see where I get to. So I had some problems copying um, images onto copper the other day, I had terrible problems, so I went out and bought this stuff here, uh, trace down. So I'm going to try that, it supposedly puts a white line on and see how it goes. Right, so I've uh, traced this on. Uh, you know about doing stupid things. Here's the tracing paper. I took out what I thought was one sheet and to make it easier I cut it. Uh, and then once I'd cut it I realised I'd taken out all five sheets and so I've made a bit of a mess. But not to worry. Um, here's my... I'm going to see if this stuff has worked. Um, supposedly we'll put a white line on the copper. So it'd be nice to see if it's worked because all the other things I tried did not work. So we can find out at the same time what type of line we've got and whether it really was worth the money. It was supposedly... Oh look at that! I like that. Look at that! Can you see that? That looks pretty fantastic. I like that. So that stuff works. Frisk Art and Crafts Materials Trace Down. Got it from Fred Aldous. Pack of five. Right, I like that. That is perfect. That is perfect. That's done a good job. So what I'm going to do is, um, there's a, a, a YouTube uh, chap called uh, Chandler Dickinson. He's a blacksmith and he has a, he has a saying, need a tool? make a tool. So I got some pieces here of tool steel and I cut them so that they had different ends on them. A sharp one here, a middling one and a fat one and I heated them up till they weren't magnetic on the ends and then I quenched them in some oil um, to harden them. So I'm going to try using those for beating as well as my trusty screwdriver. But at least these will give me a really fine point, a fat one for large areas and then kind of one in between. So I'm going to try them as well and start working on this and see where we get to. Well, I've hammered all around the pattern as you can see. I've rubbed the white off because it was going to come off anyway. So I've got all my pattern now. Uh, this little tool uh, did a really good job. So it's just done in really faint so that I can then work around it. I've cut it out roughly. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut to the exact edge of the skull or what I'm going to do around the edge. So now I need to just start uh, beating all these areas and uh, see what it starts to look like but I've realized there's an awful lot of beating there um, so we'll just have to get at it
So at the moment I've done around the eyes, the nose, little bits of the back of the jaw and really by working both sides, doing the edge down and then working and hitting in this way then raises up the outside. So you can raise areas up, you hit down first which kind of lifts this then you go around the back and you hammer in and that pushes the edge up and then you hammer back down in here which pushes it back down and then it makes like a, a raised wall. So I'm going to keep on uh, hammering and then start to pick up the design. I've carried on hammering here as you can see. Uh, done more of the eyes Center the eyes, it still needs a bit of work on these flowers. Doing this bit along the bottom and then doing the teeth. I like the teeth, do like them. So, I need another tool for doing circles on these dimples and a lot of the other dimples. So, I have a piece of tool steel here and I've just filed it to a rough circle here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harden that now and I'll show you how I do that. So I have my blowtorch here, I have my piece and basically I want to heat the end until it gets to the temperature where the steel is not magnetic which is like a orangey colour so as soon as the end is not magnetic, I've got a, a little magnet on the end of this. So I'll, as soon as I start getting orange, I'll touch it. So at the moment it's magnetic, so let's just keep warming it up now. It's only really the end um, I want to harden. Give it a little bit longer. And then I'm going to quenched in the oil. So I'll just quench in my oil here, turn that gas off and I'll just let it cool let it cool down. So here's my piece now and here's a spare piece of copper and it'll just give a just a very it just gives a very gentle hollow. So I'm going to try some of these and see what they come out like. So I've hammered with my little tool here to make these dimples. I'm just touching them up with a bit of wire wool. So it's reasonably successful. So there they are there. Well I've been doing a lot more beating as you can see. Uh, I've still got a lot more to do around the sides and all the top of the head. So I'm going to carry on. It looks quite fun from the back too. So. I'm just going to carry on. Well, I've finished all the hammering now. So here's my original. And here's the one I've made. It's slightly different. The eyes are slightly different. Um, I've left some bits off on the moustache. Um, oh, it's been fun doing. It's been a lot of hammering. But it's been fun doing. So I mainly used screwdriver, but then I also used these pieces here, which I made myself. So they were just tool steel, filed to the right end size that I wanted, and then just hardened, heated up, hardened in oil, and uh, they're still uh, undamaged by all that hammering. So it's been fun making them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to treat this, I'm going to try and heat up parts of it and then 
um, quench it in borax solution which should make it go pink and then I want to put some vinegar, uh, uh, salt and ammonia on some parts to make it go blue. So I'm going to do that now and let's see how it turns out. So what I've done now is I've heated the face up with my propane torch and then I have quenched it in hot uh, borax solution and it's gone from the copper colour to this weird orangey red colour and I've then wire wooled to bring up all the highlights so it gives quite a nice finish actually a bit nicer than just the raw the raw copper colour so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put vinegar and salt on this uh, with hydrogen peroxide and then put it in a covered thing with ammonia fumes and see if I get any blues and greens on it and then I can wire wool it again and uh, take it from there. So it's been under here since last night uh, basically that's hydrogen peroxide, vinegar and salt and I painted it all on the head. This is ammonia in here. There's just some blue stain underneath and the ammonia fumes react with the other chemicals which react with the copper to produce all this blue. But it's too blue so what I want to do is I want to see if I can wash some of it off so that the blue is only in the get in the grooves. So I'll give it a wash now and then you can come back and see it. So I've cleaned it up here. I cleaned it with wire wool. So I've taken a lot of the blue off because I didn't want too much. I wanted more in the recesses. And uh, I really like it. Uh, it was a lot of hammering which I realised when I started doing it. But I think the final result is really nice. So why not have a go at something yourself? You don't need many tools. Buy a piece of copper off Amazon, get a hammer, just a simple screwdriver. I made some tools but you don't have to make tools, you can just use simple ones and have a go and just try something new. Even if you just leave it the basic copper colour and then afterwards maybe try with the chemicals. But uh, they're easily obtainable from Amazon as well. So I hope you enjoyed that and it's encouraged you to do something. So thanks for watching.